welcome to Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. In honour of today's tale, Spindleshanks has come in fancy dress. Can you guess what he is? He's a money spider. Whoops. Eh. Have a listen to this while I pump him up. It's called the Cat Burglar. If money is the root of all evil, then Fedora Funkelfink was evil. She had a crooked eye for making money, like the time she made £21 for one packet of mints by charging ten pence a lick. But one day, instead of making money, she made a catastrophic mistake. She saw a notice pinned to a tree. Lost cat. Tiddles is my cat. And I am very sad because she has run away. Her paws are white and her tail is black. And she's got a diamond patch right in the middle of her forehead. The rest of her is marmalade. Without the bits, obviously. There is a reward of ten pounds for anyone who brings her home. Angela Tearful, nine. Sniffing a money-making scheme. Fedora rushed home for her kitty hunting kit, hid herself in a place where all the neighbourhood cats hung out, and waited for Tiddles. Suddenly there was a rustle in the bushes and a huge black tomcat muscled into the clearing. A plan formed in her fraudulent mind. Forget Tiddles. Any cat would do. After all, Angela Tearful sounded like a real cry baby. And if her eyes were as full of tears as Fedora imagined, then Angela wouldn't be able to tell the difference between her precious tiddles and a manky old flea carpet. With one pounce, the fearless hunter struck. She scooped up the sleeping Tom and rushed it down the road to Angela Tearful's house. Yes, said Angela's mother. I've brought Tiddles home, lied Fedora. I've come for my reward. Oh, Tiddles, cried Angela. You've brought my Tiddles back. Money first, then you get the pussycat. Can't I see him first? It might be the wrong cat. Has Tiddles got a tail and two ears? Mm, Then it's definitely her. But Angela's mother was not quite as stupid as her tearful daughter and insisted on seeing the cat first. Is there a problem? That cat looks nothing like Tiddles. Oh, where is my queen of the pussycats? But Fedora had seen the ten pound note. She would not be put off now by a little thing like what the cat looked like. She masked off its tail with sellotape, buffed its fur with red boot polish, covered its paws with the yolks of six sticky eggs and walked it through a tray of flour. Then she painted the diamond shape on its forehead and stood back to admire her handiwork. The tomcat was a magnificent fake, tiddles to a tea. That is not Tiddles. It's close. It must be worth a fiver at least. Go away. Four quid? Fedora realised she'd have to be twice as cunning to wangle the ten pound note of Ms Tearful. I've got Tiddles. But Tiddles is marmalade. 
was corrected Fedora. She was so shocked when she thought she'd lost you that her fur turned completely white. No. Right. Tiddles is a cat. Is inside this dog, continued the girl of a thousand lies. It ate her. <laughs> no. Right. Tiddles is home and I claim my ten pounds. Oh, teeny tiny Tiddles. Where? In the frame. The strings are catgut, but it's definitely Tiddles. I checked the twang. <laughs> No. <laughs> right. A pizza? No, Tiddles. Flattened by a car. Lovely with an olive on top. No. Right. But this time, Fedora wasn't coming back. She had run out of ideas. She would just have to pass up Angela Tearful's measly ten pounds, and that was the end of that. Or it would have been had a cat not fallen out of the sky directly in front of her. It was Tiddles. Flat as a pancake, but still useful. She inflated its body with a bicycle pump, put some colour back into its face with her mum's lipstick, and tied a piece of invisible fishing line through its teeth. Not you again. I really have found Tiddles this time. Look. And she sat the pumped up cat on her arm like a ventriloquist's dummy. Meow. Oh, look. She says she loves me. And that's not all she's learned while she's been away. She's learned how to talk English as well. Has she? Give Fedora Thunkle Fink her ten pounds. No, actually, give her twenty, cos she found me and brought me home safely. No, I'm going to give you fifty pounds, because you've been so good to me. Quite right, too. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Then Fedora ran off down the path, while Angela went inside to give Tiddles a nice warm bath to get rid of that yucky smell. But, as Fedora Funklefink danced down the street, she found another notice pinned to the same tree. Another reward. Another lost cat. Tigor is lost. He has marmalade stripes with a black tail and a diamond patch right in the middle of his forehead. There is a £5,000 reward for anyone who finds him. Mario Bellasconi. £5,000?! Fedora would kill for £5,000. She heard something purr behind her. This was too easy. Tigor was behind her. The money was all hers. But Tigor was a big cat. Tigor was a tiger, and he gobbled up Fedora on the spot. A few minutes later, the circus owner found him. Tigor was lying on his back with tummy ache. So you see, Fedora Funklefink did capture Tigor and should have received the £5,000 reward. But nobody knew where to find her. <laughs> Oh. Where'd he go?